flight. CQ, 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 this is Alpha Charlie 4, Bravo Zulu. Calling the Cabernet. My name is Ruth. I'm located in North Georgia, and I'll be your net control this evening. Our net meets regularly every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we Our default is 7242, but tonight we're on 7243 due to QRM. The goal of the Capernet is to share and disseminate information that can help everyone achieve individual independence and self-reliance. For information about the Capernet, we invite you to visit the Cat's home page. We have merged with Amron on the Internet. At that website, uh, address is www.amron.com, and I'm going to give you the phonetics of Amron. That is Alpha, Mike, Romeo, Romeo, Austin, November.com. This net may be superseded by emergency traffic during times of a disaster. Uh, the Amron net word of the week is Beacon Dash One Niner. I say again, Beacon Dash One Niner. I'll also give that to y'all phonetically twice. That is Bravo Echo Alpha Charlie Oscar November Dash One Niner. I spell phonetically again, Bravo Echo Alpha Charlie Oscar November Dash One Niner. Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and what you were listening there was the preamble or the net opening for the American Preparedness Radio Network. Then here's the configuration, very low profile. I have the Bug Out Bag Radio, the Yaesu FT817ND and the Chameleon Loop Antenna in the standard configuration with the coax loop there. Set up here on the living room floor inside the house, very low profile, very portable. All the antenna parts fit in a little annex bag and in the bug out bag radio and while I was not transmitting we were able to demonstrate that this loop antenna performed quite well picking up a station down in Georgia from Virginia in just its standard configuration with the bug out bag radio here and that's one of the principal designs of the chameleon loop antenna is its versatility its portability and your ability to operate with this antenna indoors in a low profile environment where you may have antenna restrictions or you're not allowed to operate or you just don't have a lot of space. So you could set this antenna up inside a house or outside on a balcony and receive HF. And as I demonstrated in my previous video down at my buddy's hunting camp, we were able to transmit HF email from inside his cabin. So this is just a short video to show you how the Chameleon HF loop antenna can perform indoors and fill a unique need for low profile antennas and discrete antennas and portable antennas. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a short video, again on the Chameleon Antenna and its many capabilities. Thanks for watching, guys.